Welcome to the webinar training series for the Eagles Mathematics curriculum. In this webinar, participants will be provided with information regarding the Eagles Technology Lesson Center for the Eagles Math curriculum. If you have any questions regarding Eagles Math, you can contact the curriculum team by email at curriculum at ableinc.com. Please feel free to contact us for additional support or follow-up questions. Remember that implementing the Eagles curriculum will take time. And one of the most important steps to being successful is to know what materials you have and how to organize them. Let's get started. As students are making real-life connections to math, it is crucial that manipulatives are placed in their hands. Students are able to explore, predict, and communicate about how they are using the tools and materials. However, it is also important for students to see these skills in a semi-concrete or abstract representation. The Equals Technology Lesson Center provides teachers with a technology tool to support these opportunities in the lesson. Make sure you provide hands-on materials for problem solving in addition to the visuals presented on the screen. Teachers will find that the format is easy to navigate and creates a natural focal point for students to focus on. It is a flexible tool for instruction and can be utilized in multiple ways. Teachers can display electronic versions of posters, work mats, and number notes on the computer, Chromebook, or an interactive whiteboard, or a tablet such as an iPad. In whole group or small group lessons, the Equals Technology Lesson Center can be used to focus on a common math skill or goal for the group of students who are working at different levels. This can lead to a highly supported conversation about math and about how different chapters and skills relate to each other. Students can discover connections to math vocabulary, and this can be used as a resource to scaffold math skills and concepts as they become more challenging. It also provides a creative outlet for teachers to provide unlimited opportunities to extend, review, and enrich the lessons. It is important to remember that when teaching the Equals curriculum that the Equals lessons and the hands-on opportunities will always be your primary guide for instruction. Students need to explore and manipulate the materials to understand concepts and build problem-solving strategies. The Equals Technology Lesson Center will give teachers another format to engage all learners and help students make connections and interact with math in a different way. Let's learn more about how to access the Equals Technology Lesson Center and what it can do. The Equals Technology Lesson Center can be found on the AbleNet website in the Resources drop-down menu. Be sure to select the correct link for your version of Equals. In this case, it will be the link that says Equals Technology Lesson Center. There are two ways to access materials on the Equals Technology Lesson Center. You can locate and open materials from the folders on the left-hand side of the screen, or you can open lesson-specific materials. To open lesson-specific materials, begin by selecting the chapter, section, and lesson that you're currently teaching, or the one you wish to review. Once you have chosen a lesson, the page icons below will light up. Select the page from the lesson you wish to work on. For this example, I will choose page 1. Once you select a page, the needed materials will be provided to you. Select as many or as few as you like, then click on Load Selected Resources towards the bottom of the page. You can also click on Back if you wish to change the page or the lesson. I will select the vocabulary card for the word identify, the working at a pet store poster, and the number notes poster. You will notice once you click on the materials you would like to display, they have a faint purple glow around the edge. To use these materials, click on Load Selected Resources. Now that you have selected the materials you would like to use, let's look at the tools that are available in the Equals Technology Lesson Center. Notice in the upper left hand corner of each of these materials is a black triangle. This allows you to resize the materials to fit your needs. To resize materials, simply click on the black triangle and drag your mouse. All of the materials in the Equals Technology Lesson Center can be resized and moved around the page. Additional tools are located in the upper left-hand corner of the web page. The tool shown here is the text box tool. Clicking on the text box tool will place a text box on the materials you have selected. You can move the text box around by clicking on it and dragging your mouse. You can also resize the text box by clicking and dragging that top left corner. You can also type directly in the text box. The next tool we will look at is the spotlight tool. For some students, looking at the poster of multiple objects is visually overwhelming. When using the Spotlight feature, you have the option to focus only on what you want the students to look at. Just like the text box, the Spotlight can be resized and moved around as the students and the teacher discuss different talking points on the board. 
The next icon is for the widget tool. This will be used for students that access the computer through use of a switch. We will revisit this tool a little later in this webinar. Also shown here is a search box. The folders listed below the search box can be used to find specific items you may want to include in your activity. On the Equals Technology Lesson Center, you will find almost all of the print materials included in your content kit box, with the exception of work mats that relate to measurement. The pick symbols used in Equals Lessons can be found in the Images folders. As a reminder, all of these materials can be accessed at any time and can be opened independently of the lesson-specific materials. You will also notice there is a folder titled Switch Access. We will look at this in just a bit when we look at how Switch Access works within the Equals Technology Lesson Center. Towards the left bottom corner of the web page, you will notice a darker gray rectangle. This is the Shade tool. By clicking on this tool and dragging it upwards, you can cover the left side of the screen so students will not be distracted by the content. When you hover your mouse cursor over any of the materials on the workspace within the Equals Technology Lesson Center, four icons will appear at the top of the item. Looking at each of these icons a bit closer, the first is a music note. This gives you the option of adding a sound effect to that item. You have a choice of six different sounds to choose from. The next icon is the lock icon. This will prevent that item from being moved around the workspace. This is great to use with work mats and theme posters. The plus icon will create a duplicate of that item. It's important to note that when you duplicate an item, it will also duplicate any changes you have made to that item, such as any sound that you have added to it, or if you have resized it. This is very handy for activities where you need multiples of items, such as building a graph. The final icon is the X. This will simply remove the item from the workspace. If you have students that require a switch to access the computer, the Equals Technology Lesson Center has built-in switch accessibility. Looking again at the folders located along the left-hand side, there is a folder that's labeled Switch Access. These work mats and game boards have been formatted to be supported by switch use. Using a computer switch interface plugged into a USB port, you can set up a switch accessible work mat or game board with images. Now the student can place images on the work mat or move the game pieces around the board. To use switch access, you will need a computer to switch interface such as the Hitch 2.0 and two switches. The switches need to be set up to activate the space and enter keys on the keyboard. If using the Hitch, you would need to plug a switch into the S1 and S2 ports, then change the mode so the switches activate the correct keys. This will allow students to scan images with the spacebar using switch 1 and select the image they want to use with the enter key using switch 2. These switches allow students to be more independent with their choices and interact more with the technology. Again, it is helpful for teachers to experiment with this part of the technology ahead of time so they can set up successful activities for students as they are being introduced to this feature. Now that you have the switches set up, you can open the widget tool. Clicking on the widget tool icon, located in the upper left hand corner of the web page, will open the widget tool. Using the search box or images located in the images folder, you can now add up to six pictures that students can place on a work mat, game board, or a number notes poster. Simply locate the image you would like, then drag it onto the widget tool. Now you can choose a switch accessible work mat. As the student presses the switch, the images you added to the widget will be placed on the work mat. This allows the student an opportunity to place the objects to count them. As we conclude this webinar, I would like to thank you for your time today. The Equals Math curriculum provides consistency and support as students are introduced to new math skills. If you have any questions, please contact a curriculum team representative at curriculum at We look forward to hearing from you.